with two unknown resistors now and six ohms. So there's two uh, unknown resistors, and I'm going to give two stipulations, two conditions that you have to meet. But I got to make sure the two stipulations are actually doable. So whoever does uh, makes this kind of problem, they have to sort of do the problem in advance, and they could even work backwards. They could have certain numbers and uh, do the problem, and then work backwards and see which unknowns uh, are, are they going to give you, and then which two uh, stipulations they're going to give you. So uh, the this, this stipulation is going to be the power of, of um, so what should R1 and R2 be so that both of these conditions be met, OK? So we're going to go through again and uh, make this in series. So R prime is going to be 6 plus R1, right? So now we reduce it down. It's kind of nice when you draw the picture again every time. It makes it a little easier. 6 plus R1. So we went from here to here. Then these two are in parallel. So 1 over 40 plus 1 over 6 plus R1 is equal to 1 over R prime. So this is going to be cross multiply again. Uh, 6 plus R1 plus 40 over 40 times 6 plus R1 equals 1 over R prime, uh, R prime, which is the combination in uh, parallel. So this is going to be, then I'm going to reciprocate it. So R prime is going to equal what? Uh, 40, that's uh, 240 plus uh, 40 R1 divided by R1 plus 46. And that's equal to this one. So now the circuit has become simplified. <clears throat> OK, so let's draw this a little smaller. This is the original. And now we have made it into uh, R2 and uh, R prime. Now I'm going to add R2 to it. So the total resistance is going to be what? R2 plus R prime. So then that's going to be what? <coughs> R2 plus 240 plus 40 R1 over R1 plus 46. And then the total resistance, cross multiply R2 R1 plus 46 R2 plus 240 plus 40 R1 divided by R1 plus 46. Okay, so that gives us the total resistance. Then you get the total current again. The current is equal to the total voltage, which is 10 volts, divided by this, so you reciprocate it. Okay, R1 plus 46 over R2, R1 plus 46, R2 plus 240 plus 40, R1. Then, well, remember our stipulation was that the current, the power here is going to be what? Three watts, right? So since I know that the current there is this, this is I, that means I can do I squared R, okay? So I'm gonna do that thing squared. Let's write down here, in this corner here. Power in the R2 is gonna be I squared R2, so square that, you get 100. 
R1 plus 46 squared over R1 R2 plus 46 R2 plus 240 plus 40 R1 squared times R2 should equal what? <clears throat> should equal 3 watts. Okay, so that's one of our uh, conditions. Then we're going to take, calculate the voltage here of the R prime. Okay, because we have the current already, right? So let's erase this here. The voltage of the R prime is going to be go I R prime, and then so this times R uh, R prime. So we have 10 R1 plus 46 over R2 R1 plus <clears throat> 46 R2 plus 240 plus 40 R1. So that's the current times R prime, which is this 240 plus 40 R1. So let's erase this here. 240 plus 40 R1 over R1 plus 46. So that's the voltage of the R prime, right? That voltage in here and in here is the same, right? So now I want to know if the, if the same voltage, voltage R prime, what's the current in here? What's the current in the 6 plus R1 uh, uh, branch. Well, it'll be the voltage of R prime divided by 6 plus R1, right? So, so we can call that the current in the 6 plus R1 branch. Vr prime divided by 6 plus R1. Okay? So, now if I divide this by this, look what's going to happen. Actually, it's going to make it simpler. simpler. Yeah, I, I can factor out the 40 here, so I have 40, and then I have uh, 6 plus R1. So this, in a sense, was already 40, 6 plus R1. So if I divide that by 6 plus R1, it cancels, and then I'm just left with just this thing here, 10 R1 plus 46 times uh, 40 divided by this thing and then R1 plus 46 okay that gives me the current here now what was my initial uh, condition the condition was that the voltage of the 6 ohm resistor just the 6 one Okay, so in, inside of here, there was a, remember, 6 ohm resistor and an R1. We want the voltage of the 6 ohm resistor to be 2.4. So therefore, I multiply this current by the 6 ohm resistor, okay? So voltage of the 6 ohm resistor is essentially going to be just this times uh, 6, right? So let's just not even rewrite it. So voltage of the 6 ohm, this times 6, okay? And we want that to be what? 2.4. Okay, so this is on my first condition. That's my second condition. Now, what we could do here is say this. If you look here, you have 100 R1 plus 46 squared over this. This thing sort of appears right here. So if, if I um, kind of highlight it, uh, this part right here, this part, circle it in red that's the square root of this right so all I have to do 100 uh, this thing if I take the R2 to the other side and then if I square root this you're gonna get 10 R1 plus 46 over this thing and then this thing the square is gonna disappear this is gonna disappear this is gonna turn into 10 it's gonna be radical 3 over R2, 
is equal to whatever's uh, circled here. 